Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India What does the structure theorem for finitely generated modules over a principal ideal do domain say when we take the PID to be the ring of integers? But then recall that uh, modules over the integers are just abelian groups. Indeed, if you have an abelian group, you can make sense of multiplication by any integer k. So, if you have a is an abelian group and a is an a and then for any integer k, you can talk about k a. This is equal to a plus a plus a plus a k times if k is greater than 0, uh, well even if k is 0 and uh, it is equal to a plus a plus a mm, let us say minus of and then you take minus k times if k is less than 0. So, you can define a scalar multiplication by integers in any abelian group and this makes an abelian group a z module. And the Z module is again an abelian group, just the underlying abelian group of the Z module. So there's no difference really between abelian groups and Z modules. So let's see uh, what the structure theorem says for Z modules. So if R uh, if R is Z, then the structure theorem you get is a structure theorem for finite abel finitely generated abelian groups. every finitely generated abelian group is isomorphic to a unique abelian group of the form z mod d1 z cross z mod d2 z cross z mod dr z cross z to the power f where d1 divides d2 divides dr and all these di are uh, positive integers and we don't take them to be units so we take them to be greater than 1 and of course f is any non negative integer so this such a group is finite if and only if f is 0 and uh, if so let us call this a. Uh, so note 1 a is finite if and only if f is 0 and if f is 0 then the order of a is d1 d2 the product of these integers dr. You can ask, for example, how many finite abelian groups are there of order 12? Isomorphism classes of finite abelian groups of order 12. How do we solve this problem? So, what we want is that A is going to be isomorphic to Z mod 
d1z cross z mod d2z z mod drz and what we have is that d1 divides d2 divides dr and of course uh, d1 greater than 1 and the order 12 condition says that d1 d2 dr is equal to 12. If you think about this you will see that there are only two possible solutions. The first is a is isomorphic to z mod 2z cross z mod 6z and the second is that a is isomorphic to z mod 12. Now it's tempting to put in a third option. Uh, how about a is isomorphic to z mod 2z cross z mod 2z cross z mod 3z. Well, this is not a valid option under this rule because it does not satisfy this condition. d2 does not divide d3. And in fact, now you see the reason why we insist on these conditions for uniqueness. Uh, because z mod 2z cross z mod 3z, this thing is isomorphic to z mod 6z under the Chinese remainder theorem. And so this third group here is nothing but the first group that we have written down is isomorphic to z mod 2z cross z mod 6z. So this having this condition of divisibility is very important to ensure the uniqueness of the decomposition of um, well finitely generated R module in general but also for a finite abelian group. Now if I were to ask you how many isomorphism classes of finite abelian groups of order 360 are there? This seems a little daunting at first because now you'd have to try to find all these, uh, uh, you know, numbers d1, d2 up to dr, which multiply to 360 and form a chain under divisibility. Uh, so, but there's a better way to do this, and this would use the primary decomposition. So, recall that if you have an R module, then uh, it's uh, over a PID then you define its p primary part as let's say p is an element of r that is p is prime then mp is defined to be those elements m in m such that p to the km is zero for some k greater than so some power of p kills m and m is said to be p primary if m is equal to mp and also uh, if m is a torsion module then m is isomorphic to the sum over all prime ideals p of mp. So every r module can be written as we torsion r module can be written as a sum of its p primary part. Now let's ask when is a uh, cyclic R module P primary? So a cyclic R module is a module of the form uh, R mod D. So R mod D is uh, P primary. So we are fixing here a uh, prime element P if and only if D is of the form P to the R for some with the ideal generated by D is the ideal generated by P to the R for some R greater than 0. R greater than or equal to 0 to allow uh, D to be trivial. And the proof of this is rather simple. R mod D is P primary means that uh, some power of p kills uh, uh, 1, the image of 1 in R mod d, which means that some power of p ends up inside d. So, R mod d is p primary implies that 1 plus d into p to the r, p to the k belongs to d, is contained in d. Well, let's see. This is equal to D. 
for some k greater than 0 which means that p to the k belongs to d for some k greater than 0. which means that uh, d divides p to the k for some k greater than zero. But this is only possible if the ideal generated by d is the ideal generated by p to the r for some r greater than zero. The converse is simple and I will leave it as an exercise. As a consequence, Suppose M is a finitely generated P primary R module. Then a priori we know that M is isomorphic to R mod D1 plus R mod dr uh, it's torsion because it's uh, p primary so there's no free part there's no r to the power f uh, for some d1 p2 dr d1 divides d2 one uh, but because it's p primary these things are just powers of p. we can say it's p to the r1 plus uh, maybe p to the k1 plus p to the k r For, and the divisibility condition says that k1 will be less than or equal to k2. Kr, uh, where uh, of course k1 has to be strictly uh, positive. Now let's see what this says for abelian groups. So suppose A is a finitely generated abelian group. Then we have A is isomorphic to A torsion plus, uh, and I'll write it in group notation. So I'll use the product, the product of groups cross Z to the power F for some F. And this A torsion is isomorphic to uh, the product over all prime numbers P, uh, AP. But since it's finitely generated, there'll only be finitely many primes in this. So maybe I'll write it like this: a p one cross a p two cross a p p for finitely many prime numbers for prime numbers. P1, P2, Pt. Now let's ask what how many possibilities are there for each of these? So A is P primary. A finite abelian group. is a p primary z module then we know that it is a product of groups of form z mod p to the various powers of p so this is the same as if and only if uh, its order is a power of And so, so suppose so 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 finite abelian p primary groups are the same as um, abelian p groups. So let's see. Suppose A is a group of order three sixty. 
and A is abelian. Then uh, what is what is the factorization of 360? Well, uh, 360 is equal to, uh, let's see, 2 cubed into 3 squared into 5. So there are three primes occurring in its primary decomposition. So A is isomorphic to A2 cross A3 cross A5 and the order of A2 is 2 cubed, the order of A3 is 3 squared and the order of A5 is 5. So now this A squared is going to be isom A2 is going to be isomorphic to z mod 2 to the power k1 z cross z mod 2 to the power k2 z and so on where k1 plus k2 these things add up to 3 and k1 is less than or equal to k2 is less than so the only way that you can have an increasing sequence of numbers add up to 3. The only possibilities are 1 plus 1 plus 1 for k1, k2, k3 or 1 plus 2 or just 3 itself. So there are three possibilities for a2, namely it can be z mod z cross z mod 2 z cross z is 2 z or it can be z mod 2 z cross z mod 4 z or it can be z mod 8 z. Similarly, a3 can be z mod 3 z cross z mod 3 z or z mod 9 z. A5, there is only one possibility. So, totally there are 3 into 2 into 1 possibilities for A. So, what we can conclude is that there are 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 6 isomorphism classes of finite abelian groups of order, well I don't have to say finite, abelian groups of order 3 6. So let's put this calculation down in the most general terms. So if P is a prime, the number of isomorphism classes of abelian groups of order P to the power n is given by the number of sequences k1 less than or equal to k2 less than or equal to kr and these have to be positive such that k1 plus kr these add up to n. So <coughs> for example and, and this lemma just follows directly from uh, the structure theorem for finite abelian group applied to P3 because such a group is going to be of the form Z mod P to the K1 cross Z mod P to the K2 and so on. And uh, this condition here assures, ensures that the order of the group is P to the power N. So uh, we will make a definition. Uh, Let us say Pn which is called the number of sequences like this 0 less than k1 less than or equal to kr 
such that k1 plus kr these are called the integer partitions of the so number of integer partition of this uh, function uh, n goes to pn is a very famous function and it was studied by ramanujan who found an asymptotic formula for it and it remains a subject of considerable interest so we still don't really have a good closed formula for computing pn although there are lots of um, analytic methods for doing so so now for the final result so the num suppose n maybe i'll write it as a theorem suppose n is a positive integer of the form p1 to the n1 p2 to the n2 pr to the nr is a positive integer and this is a factorization into prime numbers these are distinct primes and these are positive integers So for example for 360 we had p1 is 2, n1 is 3, p2 is 3, n2 is 2, p3 is 5, n3 is 1. Then the number of isomorphism classes of abelian groups of order n. is product j equals 1 to r p of n and uh, I guess the proof is clear by now if a is equal to n then a is equal to product uh, J goes from 1 to R, AP, where order of AP is P to the power N, uh, APJ, where order of APJ is PJ to the power N. And then the number of possibilities for APJ will be precisely P of NJ. And these can be chosen independently. So the total number of possibilities for A will be uh, the product of P and proving itself.